All right, let's talk about not getting fired from your job because of your side hustle. As someone with a side hustle business that grossed more than $250,000 last year and continues to hold down a full-time job, I feel qualified to share my advice on the subject with you right now. Now, these are the rules I've followed to keep my full-time job while building a business on the side. I hope they'll prevent you from getting fired before you're ready to. Let's dive right into it. Rule number one, this is an easy one, but it's arguably the most important. Don't talk to people at work about your side hustle. It's dumb, but the reality is there's a certain type of person at work who's gonna get weird if they found out you are making money outside of work. This person could be a direct manager or a coworker on the same level as you. Not all workplaces are the same, but you could end up being accused of not being something like 100% committed to the success of the company. It can be hard to keep business ideas to yourself, especially once you start making some real money, but really just try to refrain from doing that. There's not really any benefit to telling people in your office about what you're working on outside of getting just like a little jolt of pride and a little bit of happiness out of doing it. Rule number two, if you decide to tell people at work about your side hustle, try to position the activity as something you do for fun or as a passion, not as a business that's meant to make money. I know this sounds a little weird, but if you position your side hustle as a hobby instead, you're gonna be less likely to be accused as cheating on your company or you know whatever people are gonna say. For example, in my own life, I run a blog about a food truck business as a side hustle. People are always like, oh cute, you've got this little blog about food trucks. I love eating at food trucks or something like that. And I usually just try to position it as a fun little blog too. And don't mention the literally thousands of hours I've invested into writing the content. Or, or the revenue that it generates on a monthly basis. Another common side business is flipping items that you find at garage sales and you sell them on sites like Facebook Marketplace or eBay. You could be buying or selling anything from console video games to cars. Personally, I'd position that type of side hustle as a hobby or a passion too. Just tell people that you're passionate in this example about vintage console video games from the 80s. Or you could tell people that you you love buying old cars, you love to fix them up on the weekends. This approach is gonna transform your side hustle into a personal hobby like golf or pickleball or whatever other things that people do on the weekends. Rule number three, making sure your side hustle does not provide the same product or service as your full-time employer. For example, one time I had a client that, that was with the company I work for, they offered to pay me directly to manage their PPC campaign for them. This is the exact service that my company provided. I, of course, politely declined this opportunity with the client and immediately reported the event to my manager just to cover my butt. But if you're trying to take clients from the company, this would be an immediate grounds for getting fired. I know somebody that tried to pull this off in the past and it just didn't work out well for them. After a few months, the person was approached by the owner of the company and they were eventually pushed out of the job just after a few terrible, awkward weeks of basically being investigated. Finally, you just don't wanna be stressed out all day long wondering if your employer is gonna find out about whether a client that you're trying to pursue is gonna abruptly end your main source of income. You just don't want that stress in your life. Rule number four is the last one. Just be careful about what you share on social media, including Facebook and professional sites like LinkedIn. Don't share anything on these websites that you wouldn't want someone in your office to see. This includes details about your side hustle. Personally, I just wouldn't make any big announcement on LinkedIn saying that you're the now a founder of a new software company until you're really ready to quit and have already put in your two week notice. Again, I wouldn't mention it on any of these websites. Just keep a low profile for now. Those are my rules to help you avoid getting fired because of a side hustle. I recognize they're simple, but I think if you follow the principles, you're gonna be in really good shape. This approach has worked for me for the last 10 years or so. And lastly, I will say this, if you follow the rules in this video, you shouldn't really need to be stressed about anyone at work even discovering that you have a side business. Just remember that while a side hustle, it's a really big deal to you, what you do outside of work isn't going to be on the radar of any of your coworkers, any of your managers. After all, they're mostly just gonna be concerned with their next promotion, what they're gonna be doing next weekend, or whatever's going on in their family life. If you don't bring it up, it's very unlikely that anyone else is gonna bring it up or be interested enough to find out about it. They've got their own stuff going on too, trust me. I think you're wise to keep your full-time income. After starting a side hustle, speaking from experience, I had to shift and I had to pivot 
more than half a dozen times before finding something that finally clicked and worked with me consistently. And by keeping my day job with benefits, I had the ability to fail with a few different ideas I had, some ridiculous ones like a cloth diaper e-commerce business. And you know what, it just wasn't a big deal uh, that I failed on it. I was able to move on to the next thing stress-free pretty much because I already had my regular job income paying for my expenses while I tested out and tried to figure out what was gonna work for me. If you couldn't already tell, I'm a huge fan of starting a side business because it is the thing that worked for me. If you're someone without much money right now or you know you aren't going to get a big inheritance from mom and dad i think this really is your biggest opportunity start leveraging your weekends your holidays your evenings maybe even the early mornings before you start work and get to work building an asset and making more money we'll see you next time